This is my first DIY video, so please don't judge me too harshly. I am going to be making um, one of my American flag antlers. Um, you start off with just um, any antler, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then uh, spray paint it white, we've already gone through all that. This has dried for about two days and uh, so it's nice and not sticky anymore. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just get some uh, masking tape or painter's tape and tape off this bottom section here. This is going to be the blue part. So just wrap your tape right around this top to keep it separated from where your stripes need to be. See? You can do two pieces because see it misses right there so then I'll take another piece of tape and just kind of tape it off it doesn't have to be perfect just enough to keep it separated for your blue part and then I will move on to my next step paint I will go through the colors I've got I've got um, this primary blue from uh, Americana. There it is. I've got this Tuscan red, also Americana. Buttermilk, which I'll be using for the highlights in the stripes. And a uh, super titanium white for my stars. Okay, so what we're gonna just do is shake our paint. And we're going to start by just painting the base of this blue. This project is really easy. Don't, you don't need to overthink it. I'm just doing this video to get myself video wise so I know how to use the YouTube better. Because I get told that YouTube is the place to be. So we will indeed find out if it is the place for me to be. Cause I don't know. I like to do what everybody else likes to do, I guess. Plus, I like to share my arts and crafts and stuff. This is what I live to do. I love coming up with like new ideas, new ways to do things. Um, I paint for a living, so. This is obviously something that uh, I feel like I could produce a video on. And uh, hopefully somebody will like it. Hopefully I'll get more than like 27 views. Like maybe I will get 200 views. And if I get 200 views, what if I give this antler to you? That's a good idea. Okay, so that's a plan. What we're going to do. I'm going to paint this here antler, I'm going to make my video, and then I'm going to give it away. And I'll probably give it away on my husband's channel because he's more popular than I am yet. But I, I'll beat him. I have every intention of beating him because that's just my way. You know, ladies? Yeah. Girl power. Just kidding. I like everybody. I like boys and I like the girls. All equally. You can all share in my video. I'm happy to do that. So anyways, I have painted the bottom of this blue. I'm going to keep on painting it until it is um, the solid color that I want it to be. It'll probably be like two more coats. And then we'll move on to the antler stripes. Or not the antler stripes, duh. The flag stripes, okay? Here we are back with our uh, dried blue base. See everybody? It's blue. All right, now what we're gonna do is pull off this tape and see, look, you have your nice little pretty straight line. 
Boom, just like that. You got your blue line. I went and grabbed these. These are ones that I've already finished to give you an idea of where I'm headed with this project. All right, so now, now we're going to do our stripes. And I've painted a few of these. Last year, somebody gave me some major grief because I didn't have the exact number of stripes correct. And I may not have the exact number of stripes correct on this one either, but it has zero disrespect to my flag. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put that out there. I love America. That's why I'm painting an antler like an American flag, okay? <sighs> All right, so now we're moving on. Gonna squirt out some of my red. And some of you type A'ers are gonna wanna like map out your red stripes. I am not one of those. I like to just wing it and I will just start painting where I feel like a red stripe should go. And then I'll do it on this one and I don't know. We'll just take it and see where it goes. That is art. You just do what your brain tells you you should do. And for me, my brain is telling me <laughs> to start a red stripe right there. So, that's exactly where that red stripe is going to go. And then, see what I do? Is I'll bring it around onto this back side. You could just paint just the front side of it if you want to. And I actually might just do that just for the sake of time. And maybe I'll just come back later and do it um, on the back side. But see, I, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of making them be wavy. They don't have to be perfect. Unless you want them to be perfect. And in that case, then please make them perfect. Still striping. You know, too, like, you could go, like, all the way out with a stripe if you want. You don't have to do it like this. It's just the way, like I said, that my brain led me. So, I'm going to keep on going. Keep on painting red stripes. When I come back, this whole thing is going to be all red and stripey. And we will discuss the stripes. Okay? Okay. Alrighty, welcome back folks. I have completed the stripes on the antler, as you can see. I went ahead and just did the whole antler. And now you could move on to the stars on the blue part or you could do um, the highlighting, like what I was talking about on the white part. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna skip that step um, cause I actually like how this looks. I don't know if you can see it very good, but I like the cracky in it in the white part kind of makes it a little rusticy. So I'm going to just leave it. So now, um, we're going to move down to the blue part and do our stars. And this is as simple as when you learned how to do a star in kindergarten. Just get, let's see, I got this little tiny skinny brush. We'll see. I'm just doing it like how you do a star. <laughs> Cause it's too hard to just like draw it out for me. But see. So then I'll just do them randomly all around the blue part 
And then once I'm done with the stars, I'm gonna seal it with um, a top coat so that this can't scratch off because it is actually kind of scratchy bowl, if you will. Um, then it's basically done and uh, ready to use as home decor. Uh, Alright guys, so I have finished the stars on my patriotic uh, American flag antler. Turned out pretty cute. Give you a close up of it. And hopefully you can see it uh, in its entirety. Um, the last step that I will take on this particular antler is um, to put some of this varnish on it. It's Americana product again. And this will just help keep it from getting scratched up or chipped or anything. Um, let it dry like maybe two or three hours or overnight if you feel like it. And uh, then you're ready to uh, set it up in your 4th of July decor or your everyday decor because every day is a day to be proud that you are in America and thankful for all that this country has provided us with. Um, I, as I said earlier in the video, I'm going to go ahead and give this bad boy away. Um, we will do that on Antler Traders YouTube channel probably. Um, follow me on Instagram. I will uh, I'll post some sort of uh, information so you know where to go um, for your chance to win this. So thank you guys for tuning in to my very first YouTube video. It was fun and interesting and hopefully I was able to uh, bring something to the table that you were uh, interested in. Hopefully I was a little bit entertaining. I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it.